The federal watchdog of the consumer financial market is looking to crack down on digital wallets and payment apps. 12 News consumer reporter Sarah Gernelli has more on the new proposed rules and regulations. Sarah. Kim, Mike, the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau is responsible for policing the financial market and they're looking to make stricter rules on payment apps like Venmo. Consumers use payment apps like Venmo or Cash App for shopping or paying a friend. But there could be risks involved since those big companies don't have to follow the same rules and regulations as financial institutions like banks. We think if you're going to be in the payments market and act like a bank, you should also be regulated like a bank. Shiva Nagaraj is an advisor to the director of the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. The CFPB proposed a new rule this week that the government would regulate payment sharing apps, just like they do to banks. There's so much money at stake. Consumers are transferring trillions of dollars um, through the payment system each year. And we want to make sure that they're not vulnerable to, to fraud or data hacks or identity theft. For example, the federal government insures up to $250,000 if it's being held at a bank. However, money that's stored in payment apps may not be protected. Nagaraj didn't disclose what companies would fall under the new proposed supervision, but he says there are 17 out there, and he gave the examples of big players including Apple Pay, Google Pay, Cash App, and Venmo. That's particularly why we, we think it's especially important that, that we do have uh, a sight line into these companies. The CFPB is holding a 60-day public comment period for consumers and businesses. The proposed new supervision could be finalized sometime next year. In the studio, Sarah Grinelli, 12 News.